So this is another scripture. Uh, again, the references are right here for anybody who wants to check. And uh, so this one is saying, if she does not willingly yield, oh, this is getting, this is getting, I'm getting some Hadith vibes here, some Hadith vibes here for people that say that Hinduism is unique and not at all like Islam, okay? If she does not willingly yield her body to him, he should buy her with presents. Okay, so far, so, so far, okay. I mean, the fact that you're even, you know, Presence, okay, presence is fine, okay? I'm not going to be that picky, okay? I am still have an issue that you are saying, you're trying to, add, you know, that you're not respecting the no here, right? But let's continue. If she is still unyielding, unyielding, he should strike her with a stick! Oh, what the hell? We went from presence to all of a sudden violence. Very that escalated really quickly, guys. We went from zero to a hundred, like in no in, in one sentence. This is this is getting me. This okay. This is like Quran and Hadith in at the same time. Okay, I'll tell you which which one of the Quran Hadith and Quran verses this reminds me of. Okay, all right. So we let's let's go from the beginning again. If she does not willingly yield her body to him, he should buy her with presents. Okay, and then it says, if she is still unyielding, he should strike her with a stick or with his hand and overcome him, cover, overcome her, sorry, repeating the following mantra. With power and glory, I take away your glory. Like, yeah, with power and glory, I take away your glory. You cannot say no to me. Thus, she becomes discredited. Yeah, Dark is saying, holy crap, that went so fast. Yeah, we went from <laughs> like, oh, he's like, why are you not like having sex with me? Here's some presents. Still no? I hit you with power and glory. I take away your glory. With power and glory, I take away your glory. No, I'm like, oh, yeah, oh my God. This is insane. If she grants his desire, he should repeat the following mantra. With power, with power and glory, I give you glory. Thus, they both become glorious again. Oh, happy ending, everyone. Happy ending. Yay. Guys, <laughs> yes, you are visible, Doc. Of course you are. All right, but let me see. Your Abraham is showing when you say Barma, the creator, is powerful. He's kind of a joke, all things considered. Okay, but Hinduism, Abraham is showing it to. In the, okay, let me show you. Let me tell you what this is. Guys. Do not change the subject to yesterday's video. We're talking about verses here, okay? Um, so look at this one, okay? So this is, reminds me on Islam in two different ways, right? So there is a hadith. I forgot if it was sahih or not. I forgot if it was sahih or not. But if, like, a woman denies sex to her husband, there will be angels cursing her. Like, they're going to be... Uh, uh, like an army of angels cursing her from night till morning because her, her husband wanted to have sex and she said no, right? So that, that's the part that is giving me some Islamic vibes here. And then this hitting part, this hitting, this wife beating part is obviously the Quran for, it reminds all of us of Quran 434, which promotes wife beating. But this is actually worse. This is even worse, right? So the Quran had like a three-step process into until you got into hitting. Um, yeah, they were saying I still have angels cursing me. Yeah, the Quran had a three-step process. And look, 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 guys. But look, hold on, hold on. But heard Hindus. But heard hashtag not all Hindus. This is what they say when they're buttered. Ah, Iron Man, this is getting old. Try something new. This is something new, you moron. I've never done this before. You got an idiot. All right. <laughs> These people are like, they just have like copy paste. When they get blood hurt, they just copy paste each other's um, comments. Um, yeah, not law books. Yeah, they're teachings. I know they're not law books. They're teachings. Come on, guys. Come up with better excuses. I know they're not law books. They're still teachings. They're so horrible. I didn't say when did I say they're law books? Right? They are teachings. Okay, so here's what it reminds me, okay? 
and uh, when it, oh yeah, so this is worse than the Quran because the Quran said what? First, abandon them from your house, from your bed. No, no. First, be first. Don't speak to if your wife is disobedient. If your wife is, if you fear disobedience from your wife, first give her the silent treatment. If that didn't work, abandon her from your bed. And then, if she still doesn't say, um, if she still is being disobedient, then strike her. Right. This one is like a two step process. Give her presence, and then if it doesn't work, beat the crap out of her with a stick. This is actually worse because this is worse because the stick the stick is here as well. Because I remember there's a hadith that is not Sahih in Islam that Muhammad said, like, oh, there is a toothbrush, not so hard. I mean, that's that is bull crap to be fair. Um but but still, I mean this this scripture makes it clear that yeah, you could use your hand or a stick or a stick, right? So that's pretty bad. Guys, like see, this is a, this is the apologism that I'm getting up. You're like, oh, this is not important in his this is the Upanishads. Come on. This is an important part of it. Katie, come on, tell me. Uh help me out here. The Upan I know the Upanishad is a major part of Hindu scripture. And it's a t it's a it's a this is a Hindu teaching, okay, and you could check it. But again, every time I show this, people say there is nothing important of this in Hindu culture. So they're trying to downplay the importance of this. But then when you ask for good teachings in Hinduism, they bring stuff from the Upanishad as well. They're like, oh, look at this wonderful scripture in Upanishad. Isn't this great? And they're like, wait, I thought you said that this is not an important scripture. Like, what happened, right? Yes, I know. We 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 covered this last time. Upanishads are commentary of the Vedas. Yes, we did this. Uh, they're the second most important sacred after the Vedas. Yes, we did the Vedas. Now we're doing the Upanishads. They are very. They are the second most important. So they're pretty important. Here, Katie would use for that is completely the Hindu version of uh, Surah uh, An Nisa. Yeah, Surah Nisa four thirty four. Um, the glory part uh, also proves how the Hindu society is an honor society. It is a major uh, canonical uh, Upanishad, actually. Yes, so thank you, Katie, for confirming this. And Katie is in India as well. So, is in, so yeah. Just like other religions, I don't think women had to say. Yeah, just like other religions, I don't think women had to say. Um, yep, exactly. Yes, this is a good comment. Uh, as an Indian atheist, uh, it kind of sucks that atheists give Hinduism a pass. This religion can get just as disgusting as and toxic and uh, wait, it went up and toxic as uh, Abrahamic faiths. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for your thank you for your support. 